Hi everyone and welcome to this quick introduction to my new script XML Gibson. XML Gibson will help you to export your project into XML files to better integrate your workflow environment. So as you can see I'm inside After Effects, I'm using After Effects CS5 and the script is available from CS3 to CS5. Uh, just a quick note about the CS3 version because of script scripting limitation. Uh, the CS3 version doesn't support uh, export to every uh, data you can have in a text uh, layer like this one. Uh, you know, you have the, the font family, uh, the alignment and stuff like that. It's not available for scripting in CS3, so if you are using Adobe CS3, this information won't be exported into your XML file. Okay, that's it for CS3. As you can see, I've got a pretty standard project, uh, a lot of pre-composition, audio, effects, uh, textures, stuff like that, so nothing really special about this project. I'm going to open the XML Gibson script. So you can see the UI, uh, very simple, an export button, nothing really complicated about this. Okay, so we have here several options. I'm going to go through them. Enable recursion will allow you to export pre-composition. So if I select my fanbook uh, composition, enabling recursion will export all the content of the, for example, maps map composition, and then it will also uh, export every every single pre-composition. If I don't uh, select uh, enable recursion, only the main composition will be exported. You will have the information about the pre-composition, but it won't export the pre-composition as um, XML files. Use proxy allows you to export proxy information. It's checked by default, so if you have a pre-composition with a proxy file, you will have the information uh, of the proxy files and the parameters, and also all the information of the pre-composition. Export guide layers will export guide layers, pretty straightforward. Export disable layers um, allows you to export all the layers that are disabled, for example, title. If you don't uh, check uh, the export disable layer, the track mates will be exported and add project name, it just add the project name into your XML files. If you plan, for example, to export all your XML files in the same folder, it will be much more easier to have uh, the project name and then the composition name instead of just the composition name. So I'm going to export this project into XML, so I click on my composition I want to export, here is the fanbook composition, I'm going to export XML. Okay, I've got a, a, a pop-up. I'm going to create a new folder called XML. By default it asks you if you want to export the XML file in the project file uh, folder. So I name it fanbook.xml. Okay, save. And you can see we have a progress bar, the global progress bar, and the actual pre-composition progress bar, the actual element. So it is exporting. You can see also where it is because of uh, the selection of the files. We're almost there. It was in real time, by the way. Script completed successfully. Okay, so now I can go to my directory with my XML file there. Let's have a look. You see there is a bunch of XML files. In fact, there is one XML file per precomposition. So here is my XML file. I'm going to have a look with hmm, let's use text edit if I can uh, find it somewhere no okay text edit well doesn't look really really nice in text edit anyway you can see um, we've got all the 
information, for example, the composition duration in second, the way the way the frame rate, and for every keyframe you've got the uh, value, the time, the uh, if it's linear or not, and uh, every information you need to have into an XML file, and you get one XML file per composition, and. So that's it. That's XML Gibson. I hope it will be useful to you. Have a nice day. Bye.